Alright guys, welcome back and in today's episode we're making some improvements to the mower. For one, we're getting rid of these pizza cutters and putting on some nice thick boys. Then we're going to hook, actually hook up the 4x4 for the first time and go up on the spring rates in the back and then give it a proper send. Alright guys, so I got the fuel pump return welded in and this is going to help it from flooding the carbs. So basically there's a T coming off the pulse pump and this goes back to the gas tank. So I'm going to be going up in spring rates from 125 to 200 pounds. It's going to be quite a significant change. same tires in the front and delete the wheel spacers so the wheel bearing was out on this side and then this side it was actually loose so a good thing I caught that in time the one drawback of these massive tires is that we're gonna have a lot of understeer But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I think this thing is going to be a proper sender now. So after all this time, I am finally hooking up the 4x4. The reason why I didn't hook it up is because I gave my wiring harness away to one of my subscribers. And I'm just a horrible electrician. I hate wiring. Now guys, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Stupid Fast, uh, John, for helping me build this super simple wiring harness. And yeah, he pretty much did all the work and it's just going to be plug and play. I'm going to be able to control it with the OEM thumb switch. So big shout out to you, John. Uh, be sure to check out his channel in the link down below. He does banshees. He does two strokes just like me. And he, he builds incredible quads. So check him out. All right, guys. So I finally got the 4x4 hooked up to the OEM switch. So check this out. So yeah, the servo is engaging, and uh, yeah, can't wait to actually try it out.
reason. But hey, the front brakes work. So guys, I am pulling the motor and I'm going to replace the crank seals. Um, it didn't hit me then, but I realized why it was uh, idling so high. Um, this left side crank seal is leaking. I figure better safe than sorry. It could cost us a lot of money in the future. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull the engine off and replace him. It is uh, 1119 at the filming of this. Alright guys, it is 4.34, this took a pretty long time, but it actually wasn't that bad. Um, these banshees are pretty easy to take off, but I just wanted to not rush this and make sure I got those seals in right. So we'll go ahead and torque everything down and then get this thing back in the mower. And uh, fingers crossed, it should run really good. Alright guys, it is holding the pressure. Um, before. It would take like 30 seconds for it to leak. I mean, it was a very slow leak, but I did trace it to the stator. Um, so now it should run a heck of a lot better. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm finally testing out the mower and giving it a full send. So we're here pretty much in the middle of nowhere. We got some mud pits over there. I've been battling through just a whole bunch of issues. Crank seals, bad head gaskets, uh, chains popping off, so we got it all fixed now. We're gonna go ahead and give it a proper rip. <laughs>
Vasily from the future here, and uh, after playing back the footage, I realized how bad it was actually bogging on the top end. Um, so to me, that's an indication it was running lean. But I was on a time crunch. I was a week behind on this video, so I had to just send it, and this is my first time really taking it on some trails. So I wouldn't expect too much out of it, but I will make it up to you guys and get this thing dialed in. So let's get back in the video. Back off slowly, I guess. Dude, this is sketchy. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> this is gonna be bad right here. It's like doing a wheelie. Yeah, this part might be a little scary right here, but you're good. You're not off the ground, you're, but all wheels are on the ground. That was pretty scary going up that hill climb and then it just popped the wheelie and, and died on me. That would have been a sick hill climb though. Since I'm running those huge carbs, they're really hard to tune and they just suck uh, with throttle response. So uh, that combined with the water I just sucked in my motor is probably why that's bogging. So in case you didn't know, I am riding with a broken arm. Um, I still technically have a month to go before it fully heals. Um, so yeah, if you're enjoying this video so far, leave a like down below, drop a comment, but we're gonna go look for something else.
I don't know. Be out here for a while, probably. See ya. All right, guys, that's gonna be wrap for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see in the next off-road trials. But I am a little bit disappointed that it was still boggy. So uh, I'm gonna have to fix that in the next episode. I don't think it should be too hard. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do with this thing, let me know that in the comments. But I'm definitely gonna have to go to the drag strip once I get it dialed in and uh, I also want to put in like a winch a light bar and a bumper on it to kind of protect me in case of a pickle um, but yeah guys with that being said I have to catch you in the next video stay tuned for more peace and God bless